what's going on everybody my name is Zelperts. welcome back to yet another reaction here now today by voting demand we're going to be reacting to another video by dr bob we're going to be re reacting to the great white shark wave scp 054 fr blue fear now i have not heard of this scp either that's why i like to watch dr bob because he brings up scps that have never been that i have never heard of or heard remotely of May have mentioned, may or not. Doesn't really matter because I never really hear about these SCPs until he posts videos about them. And without further delay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this reaction video. And let's go get right into it. A teenaged boy and girl are sitting on surfboards, gently bobbing up and down in the calm ocean water. This surfing trip didn't turn out nearly as exciting as they had hoped it would. So with no waves in sight and the pair growing bored, they decide to head back to shore. Just as they're about to start paddling back, though, the girl gives one last look and spots the water swelling in the distance. She calls out for That's her friend to stop. It's just what they've been waiting for. Waves are coming in, and big ones, too. They can see that they're going to break at the perfect time. Maybe this trip will turn out to be a good one after all. The boy tells the girl that she can have the first one, and she starts paddling to catch it. She pops up on her board just as the wave breaks, riding it expertly towards the shore as the boy does the same on his own behind her. They have a great time, riding wave after wave, each one coming in bigger and stronger than the last. The girl starts to worry, though, that they might be getting too big and fast. As the girl finishes surfing another perfect wave, she looks back at the boy just in time to see him wipe out on an especially tall one. He and his board are pulled beneath the water and both disappear under the breaking wave. She hops off her own board and stands in the waist-deep water, watching for her friend to emerge but he doesn't. She scans the horizon and calls out for him, Is the there's water no the sign SCP? of her friend. She's getting worried. He should have surfaced by now. She doesn't see any sign of him or his board. What's going on? Boo! The girl jumps with fright and turns around. The boy is standing behind her. But how did he get there? He tells her that the last wave was a crazy one that must have pulled him and his board under the water towards her. He He's never experienced anything quite like it, but he's fine now. There's nothing to worry about. The girl, still trying to catch her breath from the fright, gives him a playful punch on the arm and recommends that they call it a day. The waves are getting stronger, and if he was pulled under once, then who knows what would happen if one of them wiped out on an even bigger one. Besides, the boy looks like he might have hurt himself, and the girl points at a small cut on his arm that's starting to bleed. The boy tells her that it's only a scratch, and insists on catching one more wave before they head home. He doesn't want to miss this nice. opportunity to ride these great waves when they have the whole ocean to themselves. He tells her that she can head Yeah, why are there no lifeguards on this beach? What the hell? Head back if she wants, but he's going out one more time. The boy starts to paddle back out, and the girl reluctantly follows him. As they wait to catch a wave, she tells him that this time he can go first. She's not going to let him scare her again. The boy promises no more surprises and goes to catch another wave. The waves are coming faster now she's able to get on one right behind him. As she surfs towards the shore, she keeps one eye on the boy. These waves are tough, and she needs to focus. But her attention is drawn towards her friend. She sees something forming on his wave. It looks like the water itself is growing out of the crest of the wave and reaching towards the boy. It looks like the jaws of a Ow. shark. The girl screams, Shit. and the boy looks back, straight into the gnashing teeth of the shark reaching out of the waves. The boy yells in fear and falls, tumbling into the water just underneath the mouth as its jaws snap shut on his board right where he was standing, splintering it into pieces. The girl can't believe what she's seeing and stumbles on her board. She catches herself but looks behind her just in time to see the same jaws coming out of the wave towards her. The boy emerges out of the water carrying his friend onto the nearly empty beach. He lays her down in the sand, screaming for help as a few beachgoers start running towards them. No one has any idea what they could possibly do to assist, though. Both of the girl's legs have been bitten off at the thigh. Shit. And it's clear she was dead long before he carried her onto the beach. Bonjour. Today's file <laughs> comes from our friends at the French branch of the SCP Foundation. Oh, we're in France A frightening now. and dangerous aquatic anomaly that has been designated SCP-054-FR, <laughs> but is appropriately also known as Blue Fear. SCP-054-FR right is an oceanic phenomenon that has been observed occurring in several different regions spread across oh. the world. In these areas, of which... Okay, so it's not limited to one location, it's everywhere. What? 
So this automatically makes it keter, and you can't contain it. At least five have been identified. Certain waves will display extremely dangerous anomalous activity. The waves themselves will seem to physically transform, taking on a shape that resembles the mouth and jaws of a Carcharidon carcarius, a species of shark better known to most as the Great White. The giant shark mouth, which is full of row upon row of razor-sharp teeth, will often go unnoticed until it is too late for the unfortunate victim, with the roar of the powerful wave itself covering up much of the sound of the gnashing jaws as it attempts to bite the targeted individual. The SCP-054-FR phenomenon will only appear on waves in these areas that are at least 4 meters in height, but a maximum height on which the jaws will manifest has yet to be identified. Waves carrying the anomalous effect are changed in other ways, too. Not only does a terrifying set of carnivorous jaws appear out of the water, but the wave will move faster as well. With SCP-054-FR waves having been measured at rolling three times the speed of normal, non-affected waves. The uh, frequency of just how often SCP-054... Do we have any idea when this SCP was first discovered? I hope he says that. For FR will affect waves is not well understood. But what is known is that waves will speed up when a human or non-aquatic animal is in the water between a wave instance and the coast. The frequency of 054 FR waves will increase dramatically as well when individuals in the area are at least 250 meters from the coast. And SCP-054 FR does not care which aquatic activities you're engaging in when it spots you that far from shore. It will literally go there after it will literally go after anyone. Okay, this is a different kind. This SCP is definitely a lot different than anything I have heard. Never I think the only other SCP with water I have watched was the last one I watched uh, last month. I forgot the number. I think it was SCP-053. Could be wrong. But this is a definitely different one. There have been documented cases involving casual swimmers, snorkelers, and divers, but surfers are, for some unknown reason, far and away the most likely victims. Observations have shown that non-aquatic animals... Well, it's because they're riding the wave that the SCP it, it literally becomes. So it's much easier for them to catch them, eat them, without causing much of a disturbance. At least that's how I see it. Animals are also at risk of triggering the effect, such as in the case of several seabirds that were seen floating oh. on the water just Okay, never mind. I guess, I guess it goes after anything that's living. CP-054-FR wave crashed down on them, and the birds vanished, leaving only blood and feathers floating on the surface where they once were. Even some aquatic vehicles like jet skis and small boats have been observed being attacked by the anomalous shark jaws, though it seems to avoid going after larger vessels. If more than one person is present in the area that SCP-054-FR is manifesting, though, then additional instances of the jaws are able to form, either on the oh. same wave or on multiple different ones in the area. The injuries caused by SCP-054-FR are very similar to those of a normal, non-anomalous great white shark, and the force of the jaws appears to be proportional. like a spirit wave. Think about it. It's almost like a shark was killed in those waters, and now its soul is manifested into the... Anyway, like I was saying, it's almost as if a shark, a great white shark spirit, got can stop, um, got into the water, step, stayed there, and be kind of just became the water itself, forming its own anomalous uh, care. I guess you could say. I kind of, kind of lost track of what I was talking about because I got another, I got a phone call. I've been getting phone calls lately. I whenever I tried to record these videos, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, let's continue watching this proportional to the size of the wave itself, with larger waves being more powerful than smaller ones. Victims of 054-FR attacks have had entire limbs ripped off. Others were torn completely in half, Ooh. while some simply disappeared beneath the wave as it crashed down on top of them and the jaws snapped shut. The only way to avoid being bitten or swallowed whole is to dive down under the wave before it impacts, but the opportunity to do so is quite rare given the wave's ability to sneak up on its victims and the injuries that are nearly always sustained from an appearance of SCP-054-FR are fatal in 68% of recorded cases. Eh. The SCP Jeez. Foundation first became aware oh, of SCP-054-FR following multiple reports of shark attacks caused by great whites emerging out of the waves to attack humans before vanishing back into the water. 
and the Foundation soon began a series of experiments to try and better understand the anomaly. <laughs> the first I love the Jaws picture in the background. test performed by Foundation researchers was quite straightforward and involved dumping large quantities of animal blood into the water in an area where SCP-054-FR was reported to have been attacking people. Just like with a normal shark, the blood seemed to act as a trigger for the anomaly, causing it to manifest in less than two minutes. And the researchers watched as the shark jaws tried to bite at the blood as the wave rolled over it. The test was repeated, but this time human blood was used instead. This also caused instances of SCP-054-FR to appear on the waves, though now they manifested much faster, often showing up less than one minute after the blood was dumped into the water. It seems that SCP-054-FR has a strong preference for humans, or at least their blood, and only a small amount is all that is needed to cause the shark jaws to quickly appear. Tests Eesh. involving D-Class personnel have shown that wounded individuals are four times as likely to trigger a manifestation as an uninjured individual, but that there are also <laughs> ways to limit how often the carnivorous waves will appear. It seems that lying motionless on the water will significantly reduce how often SCP-054-FR will spawn, and slow body movements will decrease the likelihood of an appearance as well. Strangely, while blood will make the jaws manifest quickly, it is unlikely that it is because SCP-054-FR can smell it, since tests that have tried to disguise the smell of both the blood and the human test subjects have all met with failure. So far, yeah. all attempts at damaging the anomaly have also been unsuccessful. Bullet well, duh, it's water! What are bullets gonna go- the bullets are not even gonna go through it, they're gonna go down as soon as they hit it. Newton's law of Newton. It's fired at the shark jaws, pass harmlessly through it, disappearing into the wave as if they were shooting at perfectly normal water. Given its nature, it seems unlikely that the Foundation will find a way to capture and contain SCP-054-FR. So, for the time being, all containment efforts have been directed towards keeping humans away from it. A one-kilometer exclusion zone has been established around the five geographic areas where manifestations have been reported, and civilians are completely forbidden to access the areas, under the guise of there being ongoing research into marine mammal life that would be disrupted by the presence of any humans. Secrecy is of the utmost importance when it comes to SCP-054-FR in order to keep the curious away for their own safety. So any photographic evidence of the anomaly is confiscated and destroyed, and witnesses of an SCP-054-FR attack are given amnestics in order to remove the memory of any anomalous shark attacks from their minds. The hmm. Foundation also engages in an extensive misinformation campaign to debunk any evidence of the anomaly spreading the idea that any reports of a shark mouth forming on waves are simply hoaxes or misunderstanding of wave dynamics, while attacks are blamed on normal, non-anomalous great white sharks. It is unknown if the five areas the Foundation has contained make up the entirety of the locations where SCP-054-FR can manifest, but Foundation agents continue to monitor reports of shark attacks around the world, and hopefully, they will find that they were the result of the regular oceanic super predator, and not the kind that can manifest behind you when you least expect it. Now go and watch another entry from the files of Dr. Bob, oh, like SCP-2846, the Squid and the Sailor, for another anomaly that will make you never want to go into the ocean again. And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications Yo. so you don't miss a single anomaly as we delve further and further into the SCP Foundation's classified archives. <laughs> okay, so he didn't even say what, um level of danger it is it is a big danger obviously but he didn't say what level like euclid get or was it or was it wasn't there two other ones besides domio and safe there was a fifth one but i can't be i don't remember it's been a while since i've watched scp videos guys it's been quite a while <laughs> but um definitely a little definitely a lot different than the last scp water like scp we watched um yeah hopefully you, you guys enjoyed today's reaction video like subscribe all stuff guys and i'll probably have some more videos out by the rest of the week bye